Okay, welcome back. Here we are now, we're halfway through this problem, um, the blackjack problem, using the hypergeometric probability distribution. I've cleaned our slate, I've cleaned our screen. Um, we're going to just go through the next calculation a little bit uh, faster, and then we'll get through part D, which is a little bit of an interesting, uh, maybe an easier calculation, but uh, perhaps harder to see uh, how the solution is, is obtained. So part C, um, this is calculated no differently than what we've done for part A. So for part C, we still have uh, population, uh, our population size is still 52. We're still drawing just two cards from that deck. We are only accepting successes. So I want both of my cards to be a success. And we are now defining a success is a 10 point card. So if a success now is a 10 point card, well in our problem I see well I have 16 cards are worth 10. So our number of successes in the population uh, is 16. So we're taking a sample of 2 from a population of 52. That population contains 16 successes and therefore uh, 36 failures. And my sample is two cards. I want both of those cards to be a success. So there are zero failures uh, in my sample. So once we've got our numbers all put together, we can put them into our formula. So this is the probability of two successes uh, given a population that contains 16 successes. I want to pick two. There's 36 failures. I don't want any. Divided by my sample size, or sorry, my population size hasn't changed. This is still 52, and my sample size hasn't changed. This is still two. So now if we rewrite this in our, our combinatorial notation. This is 16 factorial 2 and 14 times this is going to be 36 factorial and this is uh, 0 factorial 36 divided by 52 factorial this is 2 and this is 50 okay so now we can just pull out our calculator and crunch some of these numbers. So 16, I'll look at the first term there first, 16 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 14 factorial, so 120 times the second term in the numerator, this is an easy one, it's 36 over 36 factorials and 0 factorial is always 1, so this second term is just equal to 1, right? Because these numerator and the denominator are exactly the same, so the ratio is 1. In the denominator here, this is the same as it was for parts A and B, actually, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have deleted them. That's 52 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 50 so 1326 and so our final probability is 120 divided by 1326 equals oops 0 0.0905 let's keep it to four decimals 0.905 so there's our final answer for part C 0 0.0905. So that gives me the probability then that I draw two of those cards and they're both uh, 10 point cards. So either a face card or, or a card with 10 on it. Now, so we have all of these probabilities. The next part, D, what is the probability that a player is dealt a blackjack? So that means a player is dealt um, an ace and a 10 point card or a 10 point card and an ace. It can go either way depending on the order in which they're drawn. So let's clean up our slate here because this problem, it's actually an easier problem mathematically, but
but conceptually it can be a little bit harder uh, to deal with. So what we have, what we've already calculated, we can actually de describe this in a Venn diagram, which of course we've used Venn diagrams before in other problems. So let's say here this represents the probability of two tens. So a ten card, a ten point card, and a ten point card. We calculated that just now is 0 0.0905. Then we have over here the probability of two aces, an ace uh, and an ace. And in part B, we calculated that probability is 0 0.0045. Now in part A, we calculated the probability that both cards are aces or 10 point cards. So what we've calculated there is really the union of these two events. So t two tens or two aces. So what we want to calculate now for part D is using this information, we want to figure out, well, what is that intersection then? If we can calculate the probability of the intersection, that's my probability of a blackjack. One ace and one ten. So we have all of the information necessary. We have in part A the union of these two events. So let me just label my so this union, the area that I have shaded in yellow is 0 0.1433. So if I look at calculating that intersection, well it's the union of those two events, 0.1433 minus the probability of two tens minus the probability of two aces. And finally, where's my calculator? That's going to be 0.1433 minus 0 0.0905 minus 0 0.0045. And there we have it, 0 0.0483. 483. So that now gives me the probability that from a deck of 52 cards, I am drawn two cards. One is a 10, a 10 point card, and one is, is an ace. So a 4.8% chance that I am drawn a blackjack right at the start of the game. Perfect. We win. Okay. So I hope that that helps. I hope that helps explain this concept of these hypergeometric probability distributions. Um, and hopefully they're not too, too tedious uh, to use. It's good to get some practice with your calculator using that factorial uh, button. And then uh, the rest should be easy going. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.